Best Quotes of Sigmund Freud Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. The great question that has never been answered, and which I have not yet been able to answer, despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul, is what does a woman want? He that has eyes to see and ears to hear may convince himself that no mortal can keep a secret. The intention that man should be happy is not in the plan of creation. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. A woman should soften, but not weaken a man. Experience teaches us that the world is not a nursery. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or deepest despair. He does not believe that does not live according to his belief. When making a decision of minor importance, I have always found it advantageous to consider all the pros and cons. Religion is a system of wishful illusions together with a disavowal of reality. Life, as we find it, is too hard for us, brings us too many pains, disappointments, and impossible tasks. In the depths of my heart, I can't help being convinced that my dear fellow men, with a few exceptions, are worthless. Words are capable of arousing the strongest emotions and prompting all men's actions. The voice of the intellect is a soft one, but it does not rest until it has gained a hearing. In mourning, it is the world which has become poor and empty. In melancholia, it is the ego itself. Everyone has wishes which he would not like to tell to others, which he does not want to admit even to himself. We are what we are because we have been what we have been. Dreams may be thus stated. They are concealed realizations of repressed desires. Dreams tell us many an unpleasant biological truth about ourselves, and only very free minds can thrive on such a diet. Most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility and most people are frightened of responsibility. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. Whoever loves becomes humble. Those who love have, so to speak, pond a part of their narcissism. Immorality, no less than morality, has at all times found support in religion. The madman is a dreamer awake. The virtuous man contents himself with dreaming that which the wicked man does in actual life. 
The behavior of a human being in sexual matters is often a prototype for the whole of his other modes of reaction in life. Human beings are funny. They long to be with the person they love, but refuse to admit openly. Some are afraid to show even the slightest sign of affection because of fear. Fear that their feelings may not be recognized, or even worse, return. One thing about human beings puzzles me the most is their conscious effort to be connected with the object of their affection, even if it kills them slowly within. Sigmund Freud, a neurologist by profession, was the pioneer and the father of psychoanalysis, which we loosely call therapy in the 21st century. Not only did he develop therapeutic processes to relieve patients from mental stress and trauma in their mind, but he also discovered the process of transference which is vital when it comes to psychoanalysis. Thank you for watching.